Hello, um, welcome to Ginger Street Boutique. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, this is Sheila here, and I just wanted to flip, do a flip through real quick um, with the junk journals that I have completed over the weekend and that I'm going to be posting up in my shop. Um, but I just wanted to show you the insides and give you kind of a like a sneak peek of um, what's all inside, okay? Um, the first one, well, these are the two that I'm going to be listing um, as soon as I'm, uh, today, actually, I'll be having these up on my, my web or on my shop. And this is the first one. Um, this one, it has some little buttons down the seam. It has three signatures all tied in here. And then this is the front. This is how thick it is. I didn't put a tie on it yet because um, I just have an elastic, um, excuse me, Jackson. Um, I have Jackson and Takara here helping me today. I just put this elastic band around it to kind of keep it closed. You can see right here. Um, because I didn't want to obstruct. I, I like this cover the way that it is and um, I felt like this is up to the person that receives it if they want to go ahead and, and put the strings there. But I kind of like it like this and you know if you wanted it like that. But there's a band here that I put around it so it's an elastic band so it, it can stretch but it holds it together really well. So this is the front cover and then this is just like a little um, cutout that I had and then I just stuck it on there and made a pocket out of it and so this is just a little card and then this is just a paper that I cut in half of made a little journaling card thing there and then this is a little pocket on this side and then this is like a little booklet that you can actually use and you could put this is a little pocket to put in here and this is a little journaling card there's a little pocket up here and I put one of my little bookmarks that I've made and so and then you flip it over to the back side here's another pocket and then just a journaling paper and another bookmark So this has actually two pockets up here on the top, if I can get that back in there. So the two pockets and then inside and outside. And then that's tucked in there, a cloth tab. And then these are just pages in here. I didn't do any decorating because I wanted to leave that up to whoever receives this. Um, here's one of my paper clip clusters here and then this is a little glassine bag has some little stamps and little bits of ephemera in here, little advertisements, some little stamps, um, a couple little tickets, um, so a bunch of little little things that I didn't want to get lost in here, so that's clipped in there. Map page, a doily. Hey, tag me. And then here's a book page one of the kids books folded it over lots of journaling space lots of places for photos I put a little pit, uh, cloth tag there um, I just wanted to leave it open so that you can decorate it however you wish the receiver can then here's another the other side of the children's magazine sorry about our children's book Jackson you're standing in the light hey <laughs> Okay, here he comes. No, 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 you can't lay there, baby. <clears throat> Come over here. Lay over here. Good boy. There. And then the other side of that doily. And then here's another cloth tag there. Have another pocket here. And um, I just did a little collage here and then look at this little envelope. It has a little paper. You could put a little note in there or something. Decorate that however you wish. This is one of those little envelope um, pockets. Now I just put a little bit of ephemera in here too. Some little advertisements, some little um, strips that are like 
decorated. This is little hearts. So just some little stuff just to decorate it up a little bit. Put this like that. So you can see it. And there's that. Um, more pages, just blank, lots of blank pages. Tissue paper, wrapping paper. And I used this, I thought this was so cool. Um, it's an actual, one of those little individual um, Quaker oatmeal packets. And then I just turned it into a pocket. I just glued it on. And then it has the instructions how to fix it. And then I put in um, a bookmark, one of my bookmarks that I made out of the leftover um, pages from the book. And I just cut it out and made it a bookmark and collaged it. And then here's a little advertisement thing cut out from one of the card stocks. And then here's a little postcard cut out from one of the card stocks. So it makes a cute little pocket. I just like, oh. Huh. And it's really sturdy, so kind of fun. Recycling, reusing. So there's that. And then a cloth tab. More wrapping paper, writing paper. All kinds of good stuff in here. Here's another one of the side pockets. I kind of decorated it a little bit. Some netting, a little piece of cloth material. And then I put in, here's another couple of those um, pages from the book. And this one was the one that I did some squirrely sewing on. And I just stamped on the book pages and kind of decorated them a little bit. Put some twine up there. So there's two bookmarks in there. Another little cloth tab. this pattern paper and a little cloth tab and these are all from the Tim Holtz um, was it the jelly roll um, little pieces of material I had gotten over at um, Joann's a while back these are all from that all except for this burlap right here and then more pages, map, pattern paper, typing paper. And then here's a little um, paper bag. And then this is a little cluster. But I put, this is one of those little flash cards that I had. And then on the other side, I just put one of the guest checks on. I glued it on there and then I just cut around it. So like a little journaling and then it also has a little question thing. A little cut out from one of the paper pads that I had and a little ticket. And then I just put these on this side. Give it a little decoration over there. And then on this side of the, the cluster, so here's my little cluster, two blank um, index cards. And then a little pocket up here and I've actually put this cardstock and then one of my bookmarks that was left over from the book pages. So that's in there. And then I use these eyelash trim on the bookmarks because then they stick out at the top and it looks really cool. I liked it. I thought it looked cool anyway. I hope the recipient likes it like that. <laughs> And then another one of the kids' books, book pages. Just put that in there and folded it over. Here, this is another pocket. This has two pockets, actually. Here's this pocket, and it has this in there, and the bookmark, and then there's this one up here, and that's for journaling as well. So two big journaling cards here. Oops. And then there's a tab on this one. And this is a little side pocket. Another one of those little envelope pockets. And I had a couple of these really pretty. It has like gold inlaid writing on there. A little postcard. And then this one's with little flowers. And then they're blank on the back. So those are in there. 
and then one of these um, pages from the uh, floral book that I had that has all kinds of, you know, the different plants and everything. I thought that was pretty. The yellow. I love the yellow. So I had that in here. And then here's the other side of that kids book page. Flip out. And this one, here's another little pocket. This is that bag and then I folded it over. And then here's a little bookmark, little journaling card, and then here's a little little envelope. It doesn't have anything in this one, but um, you got this little envelope to decorate or um, put little things in there that you want to save. And then there's this one up here. This pocket up here. And this is one of those um, puzzle piece pages. Or it's that puzzle glue. I used it on a book page. And so it has like that real, like you can crinkle it up and then it just goes right back out flat. It's really cool. I love this stuff. So anyway, I put a page with that on it in there for you to play with. And it's really fun. And then... The typing page, pattern paper, map, and then this is just some of the leftover cloths. Here's a little piece of the Tim Holtz um, material that I use for the tabs. Another little piece of the Tim Holtz material. This is the material that I used for the inside of the cover of the book. And then this little piece was um, from the other book, I think, the other I think it was in this one. I think it was in the other journal that I made. A little piece left over. And then this has the tab here. And then I haven't put anything on the back panel. I love how these two go together. I just thought it looked really pretty like that, just the way it is. But there's plenty of space here for the recipient to put another pocket back here, put two pockets, one on either side, decorate it however you wish. I pretty much left this one blanked where the recipient can use the items that I've put in here, all the little ephemera and stuff, um, to decorate it however they want. You can even stamp in here, write in here, journal in here. Um, this is more of like, I thought, like a journaling. Um, even use it as an art journal if you wanted to. But I just really left it pretty blank um, and just added a few little things so that you can add to it whatever you want and then make it your own. Make it however you want to use it for um, whatever the purpose is that you want to use this. And then I have this band on here just under the lace so that it's kind of hidden so you don't see it really but um, it still holds it together really well. And then see how these little strings come out the top from the I think it looks kind of cool. And then the buttons there. And then this is back. Oh and I used a little bit of the gold shimmer paint around the edges, kind of just to age it a little and give it a little dimension. It looks kind of cool. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on it, but I thought it looked kind of cool. But anyway, so this is as thick as it is right now, but you can add a lot to it and make it thicker if you want to. So, But there you go. There's the first one. And then this is the second one. And here's the charms that I put on the side. This is one of those paper clip charms. Um, and then the other dangly charms. And then here's another one of the little paper clip charms I just put right here for right now. Um, but you can put that wherever you want. Just one of the little ones. And I use the copper paper clip on this. And then I just use the um, little grommet, the metal grommets, and then seam binding ribbon. Um, it's kind of like a canvas cover for the seam binding. Oh, and I also put a little eyelet over here. And then it's just a, a bolt pin that's holding all these charms on right here at the top. So you can even take this off and take all these charms off if you wanted to. And this is like that canvas material as well, uh, the little ruffle. So this is going to stand up for a long time. I left the 
seam binding strings a little long so if you wanted to cut those off you can um, if you wanted to add something else to the bottom or take all these charms off and put these down here you can whatever you want to do um, so anyway here is this one um, and yeah, here's that flowery paper that I had left, or uh, cloth that I had left over. These are um, just glued on here. These are um, little pieces of that Tim, Tim Holtz um, jelly roll material. And then I just cut little pieces and kind of patchwork. Hate it looking like that. Um, this is actually a, one of those little fry bags that I used as a pocket here. And I did a little cluster. Thing on the front and then it's a little pocket and then here's a little teeny tiny book page one of the pages I got from Jessica Rapp here's one of the cutouts from one of the um, paper packs that I had oh excuse me my camera stalled again uh, okay um, and then this is another one of those little flashcards, and then I put the guest check on there, glued it on, and then just cut around it. So for journaling, and then you can do your math at the same time. And then here's one of the little bookmarks that I made from those leftover book pages. And then, so here's all this stuff, and it all goes right back in here in this little pocket on the front page. There we go. And there's another one of those kids' books. I made it a flip out. Slide that over. There you go. And it flips out. Writing, cardstock, map. Here's a little pocket. Here's a little bookmark. Another one of the book pages. And this is a piece of really sturdy cardstock. Left it open on the inside. Just make it a little card. Use it for journaling. And then this is a um, cut out also from one of the cardstock pads and it's a little music sheet. It has a little tiny really light writing on the back but you can journal on this as well. Put pictures on there, whatever you want to do with it. Use it for embellishing. And then here's a book page pocket here. And then, oops. Oh no. Did I get that stuck on there? There we go. Here's a little bookmark, and then I just put a piece of lace, a little piece of, um, it's like recycled paper under there, a little piece of it, and I just tore a little piece off, and then some little glitter paper, and then I just stapled it on this tag. It's a book page, and then I put um, another piece of cardstock on the back of it, a little piece of paper down there, and this is a big piece of, or little card thing that you can write on, decorate. And then I put this right there. Journaling space, another little pocket. Here's some little pieces of material in the Tim Holtz roll. And then a little piece of the cardstock left over that I used to cover the front of this book, of this journal. So you got little samples there and more papers. I left this empty so you have plenty of storage. You can put whatever you wish in there. And then paper. This is the other side of that paper bag. Here's a pocket down here. And then I put two of these time cards, blue on one side, red on the inside. Here it is again. I put two of these in there. Um, one of the bigger bookmarks, and then I had um, wrapping paper on the back, and then I kind of collaged it on the front. This is in this little pocket. And then this pocket up here, at the top, I put in one of these from one of the cardstock packs. big pocket up there. And then here's these. And then here's another little pocket tuck right here. And then this is just a piece of aged um, paper. 
writing paper. And I stuck that right in there. And then here's another one of the book page pockets. Here's a little one of my clusters I made. And here's this. And then you get one of these um, coin envelopes, the bigger size coin envelope. And then a little advertisement page. So I'm putting in here a lot of stuff that you can use to embellish this book as well and use it for journaling and whatever. And then here's one of my little paper clip clusters. And then that's holding in all these things in this pocket. And in this pocket, here's one of my book page bookmarks. Um, and this is the another um, Quaker oatmeal packet and then I just use it as a little pocket and it's holding a couple little cards, a little ticket thing and a postcard. Cut out. So that's what's inside this little Quaker pocket. These make awesome little pockets and they smell good. Hmm, they still smell like maple sugar. And then I put four guest checks in here so you can make as used as drilling cards or make tags or tabs or whatever you want out of them. So all of that is in this pocket. And I use this little cluster paper clip to hold it all in. So because this is a real shallow little pocket so it holds it all in there so it doesn't come out. And then here's a map page. Here's the other side of that little kid's book. Cardstock. Dictionary cardstock. Another book page. Here's a little envelope um, that I made into a pocket. And it's got some, oh, it's got the little flower book pages. Ooh, this is the pretty purple ones. Aren't those pretty? And then here's the black and white ones. And I think there's three pages here, yeah. And then these ones are stuck together. And then it has the words on the back. So you get three of these. And they're all inside of here in this little pocket. And a doily wrapping paper, another one of those um, flower book pages. And then here's a little shallow um, pocket again. It has a little bookmark, book page bookmark, two little um, cardstock uh, mason jar bookmarks, little journaling. And then here's a couple strips of the paper that I used on the front of this journal. You can turn those into bookmarks if you wanted to. And here's that. Another map page. Pattern paper. Like that wax paper stuff. Um, game page books. <laughs> and here's one of my little paper clip clusters. And then here's another little pocket. And this cluster is holding on all of this stuff. And then here's a little bookmark. It has this little tag in the front and then it's collaged and paper in the back. Here's a little tag, a postcard, and a journaling card here. This one has all this stuff in there. Oops. And it's being held in with I can get it back over there.
Oh, this is so difficult. I'm not at all left-handed. <laughs> and this page is real flimsy. There we go. Okay, and then I lift that one out so it flops around a little. There we go. Book page, okay, and then here's another, the other side of that envelope, guest check. And it has this on one side, and then it has the guest check on this side. Okay, my computer is freezing again. Okay, puzzle page. Here's a little, um, this is one of those envelope pocket things, but this is the pocket side. And then here is, I put a little cluster on the front, and then here's a couple of these little cards for journaling. And then this is a little glassine bag with one of these little thank you hearts. And it's just a little heart and it has tissue paper. It's made out of wire and tissue paper. It's just like a little thank you heart. You can use it as a bookmark or um, use a little, little cute little thing. And then here's another pocket on the back. And then here's four or three little flash cards I stuck in there. No flu booger. Gotta get that out of there. Then um, this philosophy page flip out. And then here's another little cluster. And it's actually holding on this little envelope. So here's a little paper clip bookmark or paper clip. And then here's the little envelope. And it has these two little. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like gold foil writing on there. They're so pretty. I just love these. And then the back. And then I just um, rounded the corners on it and stuck those in there. And then just tuck this over the top. And then put this on it. Just like that. And then here's a little cluster that I made with some, with a doily and one of those little foiled papers, piece of cloth, and then nice little paper flowers, just to decorate that up. And then here I used two pieces of the paper that I used on the front cover here. I put these right here, and then I used one of those big um, cards that has the gold foil. I don't know if you can see that, the gold foil lettering. I just thought that was so pretty and it looks really elegant like that with those all those together. So I put that in that page, decorated that a little bit. And almost done, almost done. Here's one little, little pocket and it has a little journaling card. Here's one of those little teeny tiny pages. And then here's um, crossword puzzles. So each page has its own little crossword. and So something fun for you to do or use it for your decorating in this book. There you go. You know, adults need to have activities to do too, right? <laughs> like decorating and writing in this journal isn't going to be enough activity. Anyway, so here's another little pocket, and here's the top half of one of those time cards. I just had a little piece left over, put that in there, and then two regular playing cards. So you can use those, embellish those, make them whatever you want, make tags or bookmarks, embellish them, glue them to one of the pages, um, use them for the backing of one of your clusters. You can do all kinds of stuff. And here's another book page side pocket. I have a little um, paper clip cluster up here holding things in. Doesn't really need it, but I just thought that it added a little decoration. Here's a little bookmark, a clustered bookmark. And then here's one of these. 
pages that I had. So this is in here. And then up here in this top pocket is another one of those pieces of the cardstock that's like the journaling paper. So you can use this pocket. You can even, oh, there it goes again. It's freezing up. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, you can use this pocket to store whatever you want, but I just put this in there so that you can use it. And it's blank on the other side, so you can use it for pretty much whatever you want. And then I put this little paper clip cluster right here, kind of just to decorate and give it a little bit more dimension. And then on this page, this is a little pieces of that Tim Holtz um, material again um, from the, the little jelly roll. And I cut little pieces out so you can have these little pieces. You can use these as the tabs. I didn't put any tabs on this, this journal at all. So you can use that for that or use it for another one of your books or whatever you want. And then this is just a little flip up journaling spot. And then it's got this on the outside. But I thought those all that went together really well. Looks kind of pretty. And then this is one of those pages that I used that puzzle saver glue on. So you get to have it and feel it and you see what it's like in the, in the journal. And then this is the back of the journal. And this is one of those um, tiles that I had gotten from Jessica Rapp that she had put together. These are so awesome. They're so cool. It's like all under I, glossy accents or something like that that she used over the top of it. And it's just on a piece of chipboard. And then she painted the back. And then there's all kinds of little teeny tiny things on here. It's really cool. And it's all just covered and it's all shiny and it's really cool. And then I have it hung on here with a bulb pin. And then this is just a piece of cloth. Um, I don't know where I got this. I've had this forever. And I just made a pocket out of it. I just glued it down and um, used my hot glue gun, glued this down, and made a little pocket out of it. And it goes pretty well with all this. It's nice. And then here's two bookmarks that I made and put in here. So, and there you go. They all go together. Looks really nice. So anyway, and then you've got this. You could take all this off of here too and, and use this on anything else. So, and that's the back of it. Oops, there's the back of it. So that's the second journal. So both of these journals I, uh, I have in my shop. They are for sale um, so that you can purchase them if you would like. And I just used the seam binding here for the closure. And as if you add more to it and it gets a little bigger, you may have to oops, add a bigger piece of seam binding. There we go. But I liked this color and this is what I had. So and that holds quite a bit. I mean, there's still quite a bit of room that you can still make a little bow or tie it. But anyway, um, so here it is. This is how thick it is right now. Um, and it's pretty sturdy. Extra room. So I will have these for sale. Um, I do believe I am going to put them up for $25 each. So um, you can purchase these through my shop and I will have more details um, listed there for them and if you have any questions or uh, would like to see more um, pictures of them or anything just leave me a comment below um, or contact me um, and I can get back to you and give you a personal email um, with more details if you need it and if you have any suggestions or comments or whatever please just leave them below and um, I hope that you're having a great day I will talk to you soon and be sure to go check these out in my shop talk to you later bye bye